What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another show on New Breed Global Truth, where everything is live and unscripted. Pound that like button on your way in. Ignore, block, unfollow, repeat. Ignore, block, unfollow, repeat. Seems to be a reoccurring thing, especially for myself in the last few weeks. That's how it's been going. And it's important to detoxify your social media, your contact list, uh, your life in general from leeches, from people who have alter alternative or ulterior motives. Ladies and gentlemen of the congregation, once you have been red pilled in this biblical truth, everything changes. Everything changes. One of the biggest changes is that you're gonna have a lot of people gunning for your essence and your energy, looking to rob you of your light, your peace, your joy, your serenity, your levity, and your clarity. They look you, they're looking to strip you and render you of everything that makes you, you. They're leeches. And these leeches come in many, many forms. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time that we stop entertaining these demons and devils out here. We have to. We got to understand that you're not battling with people. In your rebuttals, in your responses to ignorant people, you're not battling with a person. You're battling with the spirit, with the demon that inhabits that individual. You're battling with demons. You need to really grasp that concept and wrap your mind around it. The book of Matthew 24 says the love of many shall wax cold. A lot of people are cold hearted. A lot of people are dealing with you to see what they can get out of you. Um, even if it doesn't seem as you have much. But on the contrary, if you, if you have accepted the most high, accepted the Lord Christ, if you have gotten to these scriptures, if you have learned the law, statutes and commandments, if you have taken that red pill and traveled down that road last travel, you got a whole lot to offer. A whole lot to offer. We're not talking about material possessions. We're not even talking about, uh, you know, success or opportunities that you can open. No, you have more than that to offer. Ladies and gentlemen, you have your souls. Hmm. You have your souls in a world where a lot of people don't have their souls anymore. You have your soul in a world where that is the most valuable thing in this planet. That's why people are selling it for, for little to nothing these days. And some are selling it for great riches and fame and fortune. Your soul is invaluable. And you got people out here who are playing soul caliber that want to leech off of that, who want to extract all they can up from you in order so they can continue to sustain in their wickedness. Oh, it's a spiritual warfare. It sure is. It sure is. And I got to warn you, brothers and sisters, because a lot of you are just waking up to this truth. For a lot of people joining my channel, this is your initial spiritual journey. This is your initial awakening. I realize the position that the Most High God have honored me with, and I give all praises to and for this, that is reaching new people. But I got to warn you, brothers and sisters, who, who joining the board. I got to warn y'all what's going to come with this, because... Listen, ladies and gentlemen, you can expect people to really pull at you. You can expect people to really tug at you. You can, you can expect people to lie on you. You can expect people to try to do anything, everything to get your attention in a negative way. Um, they're trying to feed off of you. And y'all got to understand when you entertain certain spirits, certain demons, they are allowed to latch on to you and they extract energy from you. They take you off your goal. Let me tell you something, the only time obstacles exist in your life, the only time obstacles exist in your life is when you take your eyes off of the goal. Do you understand me? When you take your eyes off of the prize, that's when the obstacles come. And Satan is willing and able to send whomever your direction to knock you off course. I mean, he has people like Pokemon. I'm talking about Satan summons individuals in your life when you're climbing Jacob's ladder, when you are elevating, when you're going to higher heights. He sends people like Pokemon, like I choose you, Pikachu. All of a sudden, somebody just pops up in your life 
And they're there to wreak havoc. They're there to be a snare and they come in many forms. It's not always somebody directly contacting you. You're in the age of information. You're in the age of technology. Even entertaining certain, certain recommendations. Let's talk about them recommendations. Because quite often y'all being recommended all of these type of content creators. Um, they all talking about spiritualism and spirituality. Um, often those recommendations are actually leeches. They're, they're set forth from the powers that be to lead you astray because they'll see you building something. They'll see you watching a, a group of particular brothers or sisters or whatever the case may be that you're gaining balance on, that you're, you're getting clarity on, you're learning from. But what the powers that be got to do is pretty much rip at who you are as a person and, and fragment your energy. It's all about fragmenting your energy. Listen, you are supposed to learn from a select few until you get your grounds. It's called building a solid foundation. If you are sitting here watching this person, that person, this person, that person, guess what? Your direction has altered. You have changed courses. You have not got all that you were supposed to get out of the foundation that was being built for you. And now you're falling for the leeches. The powers that be send them too. And a lot of times they're sent as, as, as people who are negative. And those people often get pushed to the forefront, your shock jocks, your weirdos, and, and those, those people of that, that nature, they get promoted to the forefront because they feed off your lower vibration, ladies and gentlemen. They feed off your lower frequency, and now you off course from where you was heading. You done fell for leeches, negativity. Yep. Somebody said this is happening to me right now. Absolutely. That's why you got to really focus. Focus. Because the Most High is trying to bring you a certain direction, but there are certain entities there are certain people in your life that are co-conspirators with Satan, with the devil himself. A lot of time y'all be thinking y'all dealing with a person. You dealing with, you think you dealing with, you think you dealing with an individual who just had a disagreement with you or a person who just had a bad day. No, Satan summoned a lot of these individuals to take you off course. When you respond to them, you're feeding into a demon. All of that back and forth is not necessary. Geraldo, thanks for the $10 contribution, says you speak in nothing but facts all day long. Majority of people need to take lessons from you. Real talk. Thank you, Aki. I appreciate that. Thank you for the support. Appreciate that, man. And we in those times, man. We in those times where you got to understand. The leeches, they're going to stop. They're, they're not going to stop, pardon me, until there's nothing left of you. When you compromise with a human leech, the results will always be the same. They will always be the same. You cannot reason with a fool. The scriptures tell you that. And often you have domestic situations. You have all kinds of issues taking places in, in, in households because brothers or sisters are dealing with a narcissistic leech, thinking that they can reason with that individual. That leech does not hear you. That leech does not hear you. That leech has all green light from the enemy to deal with you. Why? Because you open that door. Let me tell y'all something, even with social media and your everyday life, let's make this clear. There are people doing all kinds of things behind closed doors, as far as how they see spirituality. And this is why we draw a silver lining over here on this channel. There's people who are into witchcraft, a lot of people. Right now, they're making it seem normal. Um, there's a lot of people who are wizards out here. There's a lot of people who are studying various ideologies, various books, 48 Laws of Power. Uh, they're studying Aleister Crowley's teachings. They're studying, they studying uh, astrology and all of these different things. And y'all don't understand, when you entertain these individuals in any way, you give them a point of entry in your life to run amok, wreak havoc, and destroy anything that you are building. This is why the Bible tells us, how can we walk together with people that we don't agree with? If two don't agree, what are we walking with each other for? Because guess what? What you got going on in the spiritual realm will affect. What you got going on behind closed doors in the spirit realm will affect us, ladies and gentlemen, if you're entertaining them. Rollo, thanks for the $5 contribution, says, as I've been dealing with that lately, they trying to backtrack won't work. I'm, I see and I'm aware, observe a lot of things that are not normal, for real. Real talk. I feel you on that, bro. 
Pino Black, thanks for the $10 contribution. Says, appreciate you, bro. All the work you put in making your content 100, 100. Thank you, family. I appreciate it. Thank you for the support. Real talk. Especially, let me put this out here, too. When it comes to a lot of you ladies out here, y'all got to understand how much vulnerability you really have and how many witches are out here. Um, ladies, you got to guard your spirits, guard your souls. The reason why you want to have at least a teacher, a leader, somebody that as a man that you can look up to and, and, and get the word from is because a lot of these ladies out here are doing things on their own merit and they're leading you into all manners of evil, tarot cards, witchcraft, astrology. And what y'all got to understand is when you ask a human leech for advice in any level, when you ask them for advice in any level, you have given them a point of entry. When you build with them, you've given them a point of entry. When you conversate with them, you've given them a point of entry. You gotta learn how to have tunnel vision. You gotta learn how to have tunnel vision. If you if you asking a, a sister like, yeah, you know, me and this, uh, me and the guy I'm dealing with, we dealing with this, we dealing with this situation, you telling a witch, you don't even know she's doing tarot cards. You don't even know she's taking your situation, placing it in, inside of a medium and cursing your life. She's cursing you. You know why? Because when she curses you and you fall, she gains power from you. This is spiritual warfare. This is spiritual warfare we living in. Same thing with these wizards. Wizards exist. There's men out here that operate in on the left hand side and they're doing sorcery and magic. They're leeches and they're going to come in ordinarily when you wake up to this biblical truth. And I'm talking about the knowledge of full truth, spirit and truth. When you start gaining the historical relevance of your culture and you got the spiritual enlightenment that comes from on high from the Messiah, man, you can expect all hell's gates to break loose. You're going to have all kind of deities, demons, uh, agents, scoffers, trolls. You're going to have people gossiping, trying to line you up. You And you'll look at yourself and say, damn, I didn't even know I was that important. I didn't even know that I was that important. It didn't even get to the same point, the same people you help out, the same people you people you lead, the same people that you have a kind heart towards, that you support. You will start to be, you will start to see those people detach from you, right? Start forming groups just to go against you. People that you show nothing but love for, people that you built up, never had a, a ill or cruel intention. The same people that looked up to you, the same people that you were. You were helping out in their time of need, the same people that you were counseling. Man, I'm gonna tell you, the war is real. All of a sudden, they done formulated a whole hate group against you. They're leeches. That's why I tell you, man, anybody who only needs you temporarily, ignore them permanently. 